From Lusaka, this is my house, the most important TV show in Zambia. I am Jackson Dimas Piri. Earlier this week, I saw uh, social scientist uh, Mr. Innocent Kolala comment on uh, revelations by uh, the opposition patriotic front acting secretary general Mr. Nixon Chilangwa that um, the Central Committee is waiting for the, con for the ongoing consultations with uh, former president Edgar Chagwalungu, also known as uh, ECL, who they feel should come back and lead the party. We need a strong opposition in this country who should be giving proper checks and balances to the ruling political party. And the Zambian people, they had faith in Patriotic Front, being among, um, one of those which is a, a big uh, political party. But with what is going on, this definitely is taking now our Patriotic Front into oblivion because Bring, thinking of bringing back ECL, the former Republican president, Dr. Edika Chakwarulu, I think this will be the worst of its kind. Because Zambian people, about a million plus, rejected ECL. And how do you expect the one million plus who rejected ECL to come and rescind their thinking to come and give him the vote? Yes, they may be maybe 200. But is that going to change the face? The answer is no. After this, it is safe to say that um, the call for ECL to return to active politics seems to be growing, uh, you know, gathering momentum in uh, some circles of the society. The quick background is um, ECL already served for seven years as Zambian Republican president and uh, eventually lost an election in 2021. Now, those calls can only mean uh, two things for those who have been following. Either the PF are admitting that they do not have uh, leaders capable of taking over the presidency, uh, like a leader who is, uh, you know, influential enough to um, compete against Double Eight Seven, or it's a sign of frustration that seems to be, uh, you know, uh, lack of uh, progress by uh, the new Dawn government, and they feel, uh, you know, they feel ECL was even a better president. I will leave those questions up to you to to answer, but whichever way you're looking at this. Uh, this issue, it's 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 not a, a wise move, okay? Bringing back uh, ECL into active politics, okay? If I'm being honest with you, it's a terrible idea, if you ask me. To start with, he has already had a chance to make um, a contribution to the governance of this country and significantly played his part. There are a lot of things that he did that we also appreciate, other than things that we do not appreciate. The second issue is that um, he's like the only surviving former head of state and therefore that makes him a senior statesman in our country. So that also means there is still like a big role he can play in the governance of the country. An example I'd give you is uh, take for instance in a situation where we're in a crisis and um, we're experiencing mass discontent and, and, and people are protesting. Who do you think will be able to come down you know, and help resolve the, the possible deadlock between government and its people. Could be ECL. Because going by our recent history, this country has, a, a, you know, has majority of people who are either for the ruling party, currently those people are called the press singers, or for the opposition. Okay? And as things stand, most of those people who are opposed to the current government are either PF, Bamushani Nawadi, or those neutrals who are likely to stand against the government in times of a deadlock. So whether you like it or not, this is where ECL comes in, okay, as a senior statesman. He has uh, a voice enough to come such opposition and ensure national interest uh, rises above personal or partisan interest. The other reason why ECL should not even consider active politics is that it may just harm his legacy. Because coming back means he loses his retirement benefits. And also imagine him losing another election. It can really go down really bad, okay? Like a serious dent, like a loser, you know? Any, anyone who claims, especially people that are around him, anyone who claims to love the former president should know that it is too high, you know, a risk to take for, for very little to no additional benefit to ECL. He recently made a public um, appearance when, uh, you know, he escorted his son, Dali Solungu, to answer questions from uh, the ACC. Well, he didn't talk about, you know, him taking up active politics, but he still made some headlines. 
Mythomania. Your Excellency, we have all well. Mythomania, all well. We have all well. We have all well. The person who has got the propensity to lie. Not for shilling, the cool vapor, not for shilling, the cool vapor. So we have all well. We have it's actually a clinical thing. You can actually go to Chinama, you know, like in Upper Chinama. There are doctors. Is it in the family or in the political party? It is usually related to Kufi Wakula, the background. Yeah? If you have grown up, Ukula Vepa, Vepa, Ukula Vepa, Vepa, even when in Gawakula Wakuta, you continue lying. It's mythomania. Wufi, we have all whatever you expect. It, it affects everyone. Can you move government? So, if you don't want to move, you can move all that's why in Gamunemo Naban to Valeve, Pavale, it is contagious. It's an outbreak. It is a contagious. Excellent. This is a You know, you know, fiction, fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiction becomes the reality when she was in trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, when you can marry the two. Yeah, because I yeah, read that later. That later from. Uh, He's a great, he's a emeritus professor, yeah. he's a yeah. emeritus professor, he's a lady. What he meant that it's a Tailafika food. I'm in the floor, but it's a Tailafika food. No, the Jews, he was a way new, man. I'm quite, I'm quite. It's actually a sin, the Bible is very categorical about it. I say it's a word. <laughs> so a lot of people have commented on uh, that conduct um, by uh, our former president uh, in public. Now, youth Senate Zambia president said uh, he must make it clear if he wants to uh, be back in active politics so that we can know how to address him as the opposition party leader as opposed to former president. The only surviving head of state, I mean former head of state, we look at him with, with, those, with that lens. But to see him yesterday display, you know, political stance uh, of that nature was quite disappointing. And uh, that is where our, uh, our, our disappointment was. And that's why we are saying if he has decided uh, that he is not retiring, mm -hmm. he still wants to play active politics. We are saying let him just make it plain so that we change the lenses with which we look at him. We will now start addressing him as opposition, you know, uh, leader or, 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 the, the, or the PF president, since PF now doesn't seem to have a president anymore. A lot of you may agree with us that um, apart from the effects which relate to ECO's um, influence and risks, uh, the country needs, you know, to be progressing. We need to be uh, reaching out, you know, for new ideas and also new style of leadership. We can't be going back to the same leaders and expecting new results unless we are a foolish people. All right. I like to believe we are smart people. There's a lot of information and we're reading and we know what we need. We know what's good for us. Each leadership has got its own philosophy, which greatly influences policy and the execution of programs. Let me tell you something. Why it's uh, risky for a country to go back to a former leader. Okay. He may still want to be implementing ideas which were good five years ago, but may not be good now. Well, I'm, I'm tempted to give uh, Kad as an example, but maybe a bad example, right? Yeah. If I were um, ECL, I would not even entertain the thought. Telling him right, right now, Your Excellency, Mr. Edgar Chagolungu, the people inviting you back into politics, if they're already inviting you, if, these are, you know, if there's any truth, they are the same ones who told you that you could never lose an election. The same people who told you it's God himself who, who chose you to stand in 2021. For us, we could only advise, okay? Uh, we are sure there are some people out there who are thinking we're just making noise. What do we know? What do we know?